Streaming Discord is a great way to engage your community. People can hop in and join the game, they can communicate with you via voice chat, and there's almost no latency. However, the downside is that you can't use your scenes or your OBS setup, or can you? Hey guys, Christian O'Boyle here. If you'd like to create business as a content creator, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to stay notified. Recently, I asked the question, would you be interested in how to stream with OBS in Discord? And everyone responded with the unanimous, heck yes. One of the things I wanted to do in Discord was to stream with my OBS. Now we were getting started before we started streaming on Twitch, we actually started building a Discord community with friends and family to start getting people that are early supporters to help encourage us to continue moving forward with this dream and passion. However, one of the things that I wanted to do was be able to stream an OBS in Discord to start getting a feeling for what it was like to be streaming, to have gameplay and different scenes and sources so that I can get an understanding of what it is like to interact with a chat at the same time as transferring and bouncing between different scenes. However, it became very apparent that it wasn't really that easy just to start taking your OBS exactly straight into Discord. Obviously, you can do a screen capture and capture all of the OBS, but you don't want them to see all the scenes and sources and everything that is going on in your setup. I just wanted to be able to capture a simple window and then be able to have that experience and then have them have the experience of watching more of a stream. Now, Discord allows you to capture webcam, gameplay, or a screen all together, but OBS was not an option because OBS isn't a webcam. I couldn't get OBS to be recognized specifically in Discord. And again, there was the option of capturing the entire screen, but no one wants to do that. I really wanted to give the viewers the experience of being in our stream with overlays, our camera, music, and much more. However, again, there wasn't really a way to connect OBS into Discord. However, doing a little research, I did find a plugin to download into OBS Studio. However, at the time, I was using Streamlabs OBS and not OBS Studio, so it wasn't really possible. So after mulling it over and kind of really thinking about it, I started to switch from Streamlabs OBS to OBS Studio. This allowed me to have access to all the plugins that are available and to really get into being able to customize our stream. Also, after doing some further research, I did find that Streamlabs OBS had some other cons to it that OBS Studio didn't, so the switch was a little bit easier to make. However, because I have set up all my scenes and my overlays in Streamlabs OBS, I had to basically port them and kind of get them over to Stream Elements and then import them into OBS Studio. So after I had everything set up and I had it the way I liked it, I did the research and pulled up Virtual Cam. So just go to Google, type in Virtual Cam and click on the first link on the top. Then we're gonna click on download and download OBS and then run the EXE to get it installed into OBS. Finally, we're just gonna click tools and then select virtual cam and then click start. Now we can go to Discord and it now recognizes virtual cam as a webcam source. Now we can stream our scenes and everything from OBS. Now, when I was first setting this up, it wasn't possible to capture the audio from OBS or a screen share source into Discord. I was a little frustrated and I had to mull it over and figure it out. Like there's a voice meter banana or voice meter potato, but I didn't want to deal with setting that up. It was a little intimidating and I just didn't want to do that extra work just to do single audio into Discord, especially when Discord was just a way for us to get a toe into streaming so that we can have a feel for it. However, doing the research today, I am seeing that Discord does capture audio from screen share sources. I'm not sure if this is an update that but, but, I'm not sure if this is an update that they did, but it is seeming that it is working. I tested it on my main system on a system that I had virtual cam but never set up the audio and also on a system that never streamed or even joined in our community in Discord and that also was working with audio. So for now, we'll just assume that as soon as you set everything up and you do a screen share, that audio should also be captured. So now you should be able to stream 
stream OBS in Discord. One of the great things I like being able to do this is getting our Twitch community into our Discord and then having a stream night with just our Discord community. It's a great way to get them interactive and involved. You can get people to chat with you and you just have a more personal experience. It's a great way to involve your community and really build that relationship. Now, if you want to grow your Discord community, check out my networking as a streamer video here. And as always, I hope to see you again.